I live this thing. Limit like it'll kills. What do you mean by limit like it'll kills? That was a regular kill, okay. Uh, like this. He's off on the captain. I believe these men meet the requirements. They will lead me to leave. You believe incorrectly. They're sick and weak. We're looking to build an army, not fill an arms house. <laughs> it will take months to get them into fighting shape. We don't have the time. No, please. We'll do anything you want. Anything. Only take us with you. Quiet, well. Your merchandise is useless to us. Perhaps we should discuss this back in my cabin. Okay. You, get out of the way. Let's have a checkpoint. Sorry, you have to go. Oh, come on.
Really? That was detected? Fine. Maybe I should just run across and switch to the side. Okay, other idea. Okay, he's walking around down there. He's walking around down there. There's this guy standing over there. Now he's oh he's also walking around. Maybe now. I'm sorry to have disappointed. As you should be. For us to have come all this way for nothing. Tell me now why I shouldn't have you thrown into the sea. No need to be rushed. Only give me a little more time. I'll scour the other ships if I must. I'm certain there are prisoners who will meet your needs. Very well. You have two days. Thank you. Okay, that's a good place. Present yourself to the Green Dragon Tavern in Boston with the men you've chosen. We shall meet you there along with our master. Killed the HMS Josie's captain, escaped the HMS without entering into open conflict. Uh huh. I can do without open conflict. Like this. That wasn't open conflict. That was me shooting him. Conflict, limit the yellow kills. God damn it! HMS Jersey, the British took so many prisoners during the Revolutionary War that they quickly ran out of places to put them all. Prisoners, prisoners in New York, like the Bridewell, were full and British took to using sugar houses and poor rebel churches. 
And how about decommissioned warships were put to use as prison ships, most well known being the HMS Jersey. The Jersey had and earned the nickname Hell. I wonder if you can guess why. Conditions below decks for the prisoners were kept were crowded. A thousand men crammed together without light, sanitation, or proper ventilation. But a dozen prisoners died every day. From small, smallpox, yellow fever, and malnutrition and torture by the guards. Not even going to begin describing the food. Well, alright, I'll begin ined inedible and worm infested, but I won't finish. The British sentiment was that the rebels were traitors and didn't deserve any better. At least 11,000 people died on board the prison ships, more than the rest of the war put together. After the British left New York, the US Navy found mass graves in the mud at the edge of the harbor. Those remains have since been placed under a monument in Brooklyn, where Fort Putnam used to be. Nah, fine. That thing sucks. Oh, there's a almanac I haven't found yet. Fastest way is probably this. And my assassins. Can't put any more on it. Okay. Virginia. Come to Captain Hornbills. Whether a fleet or a weekend angler, he's got everything to make him jump out of the water. In today's New York Morning Post. Can't I spell the horse? Yeah, it's the one at the top of the burned out church or something. Got it. Finally. Okay. Boston. Wait, I gotta deliver the thing for the homestead. Jumping from map to map took less time than this.
I found your bolts. Wonderful. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Nah. Your husband was there, speaking ill of you. He ran off when he saw me. Oh my. That dirty, rotten bastard of a man would do something like that. At least you were able to come away with the only thing of value that remained there. Thank you, Connor. Yeah, don't think about it. We've got level 2 Taylor. Now to Boston. Where is the thing I need to think? Why is Festival unavailable? The North Guardian Angel. Oh, there's another homestead mission. What's up? Connor! Connor! Hang on, I need to set new assignments. No, they're busy. Virginia. What you got? Connor! Ellen's dullard of a man is trying to break down her door with his mates. We're on our way to stop it! Come out here, you lying crawler! I'll break the door down! I said come out and bring Maria while you're at it! She's not your daughter anymore, you lummox! Come out here and get what is coming to you! You'll regret this! I am sick of waiting! If you come near her, I'll tear you apart! Come on. Come on. Get what is coming to you. Get You'll him. regret this. Come on, Come out here and get what is coming to you. You'll regret this. Ellen and Maria are free of you. I say so. The people behind me say so. Believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you on this land again, I will end you. You can have them. Nice, everybody came to help. Thank you, all of you. Nobody has ever stood up for us before. We protect our own, Ellen. This now. is my home now. I'll find a way to show my gratitude to you all. I promise. <laughs> Yay. I think only Warren wasn't there. Level 3, Taylor. I should check that out. Hey, another homestead mission. I do, let's go check the book. Okay, inventory is full. Now I need the minerals. Those will be nice. Cut 
Titan key. Ah, the reminder of Ben Franklin. Cartridge pouch increase. Cartridge pouch increase. Poison dart pouch upgrade. Oh, pouch touch. Oh, dart pouch upgrade. Smoke bomb pouch upgrade. Win holsters. Yeah. Trip mine pouch. Okay. More bottles, some sand, whatever that is. Boots. Fine clothing. Fine hats. You look fine in that hat. Regular hats. Quilts and wigs. For some reason. Wigs are a thing for some unknowable reason. Uh, rugs. <laughs> I wonder how much a barrack sells for. Where are my naval convoys? Um, crafted item clothing? No. Miscellaneous? Yes, the rugs. That can make money. And compared to... Oh, no more just pelts, right, I use them. Why can't I see the profit right here? So stupid. Furniture, woodworking. Meh, never mind. Forget it. my help now. The Huntress. Need someone like you to help me. That's what I'm here for. The wedding. Who's getting married? <laughs> my friend! Norris, what are you doing? She said yes! Marion? We are getting married! <laughs> I told you not to touch him, Norris. Is it true? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good for you. So now that you've been told, might I have a word? We have much work to do. Of course. What would you have me do? Accompany me to the inn. I have business there. <laughs> yeah. Don't sneak up on me. Norris is a stickler when it comes to tradition. Miriam knows not where her father is. And they were hopeful that you might act his part at the ceremony. I am not familiar with colonial wedding customs. It means you will walk with her during the ceremony and give her to Norris as her father would. I would be honored. Wonderful. On to other business. 
Our weddings are complex beasts and require many hands working together to execute. Why? We'll need Warren and Prudence to provide food, Ellen to make them appropriate clothes, Big Dave to smith wedding bands, huh. me to conduct the service, and Oliver and Corinne to host a banquet. That is a lot. Yeah. We'll start here. Yeah, that is a lot. A few days. Talk with Norris. Well, if I'm already at the house... Dodo. Dodo. If I'm already at the house again... They didn't make much more in the time. Yeah, I wouldn't really expect Miriam to hunt while she's preparing for her wedding, so... Or Norris to, to mine. Melt. Buttons. Everyone needs buttons. Buttons. They have a dog cuting over there. Maybe they really should get a dog cam. Dog cams make everything better, right? Comment if you think so. Connor, everything seems to be in order for the big day. It is, except uh, I can't find Miriam. Uh, I'm certain she's making sure all is perfect. I will find her, my friend. What am I doing here? Oh, upstairs. I'm talking about the clues. Kill him all over the Aquila. Here yeah, was flowers. Why are they on the floor? Whoa, I have a lot of shot there. Miriam's mirror.
Where the hell did she go? What's up, Miriam? What you doing? Why do you run? Leave me be! I'm no housewife. No one's Nobody you thinks you are one. That's what all this means. No, it doesn't. around tell me you're not going your backpack to the ceremony You may kiss your bride. That's it. Um, should I chase Miriam again? Hello, Connor. Enjoying yourself? I am. It is nice to see everyone together and happy. Look at those two kids. It's a lovely sight. Norris is one of my best friends, and he couldn't have found a better woman. Proud of him. Sometimes people are just right for one another. Norris and Miriam are a match made in heaven. Or a match made by Connor. Isn't that right? I only helped Norris muster his courage. The rest came naturally. And my little brother Joseph tossed him in the river. <laughs> Connor, we were just recalling our weddings. Spirited events, I take it. <laughs> Spirited? <laughs> More like brawls than unions they were. <laughs> calling Joe Little is like calling me Big Terry. Boy's a bloody mountain. My younger brother had a blow-up with one of Terry's cousins. A minor disagreement about some lass's dance card. I'll just say Terry's cousins sobered up right quick when it was over. Poor boy. Sitting there sopping wet on a stump while Joseph spun around with the object of his affection. <laughs> it was good for him. Fun good things don't come easy. Excuse me, everyone. Thank you. I won't keep you long. I would like to present something to Connor and you all. I once said I'd find a way to show my gratitude for your courageous actions in my defense. And this is what I give you today. This flag is a symbol of our strength and unity. And I would hope you'd all be proud to fly it high above your homes and shops. I'll happily make one for each and every one of you, if you so desire. But this one is for you, Connor. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. But the of offer moral guidance to all homesteaders. 
Lan Conroy in Boston, 5 minutes. Open the door, maybe? Okay. Pull it. Hmm. Okay, just a second. We'll be straight back. Mm. Okay. Uh, whoa, lots of homestead missions. Nah, I'll run it. Whoa. What? Over here. What's that mission? Hey dude, what's up? What mysteries? It is beautiful, old man. It is. I've found a painting for the space above the mantle. It's being held in New York. If you get a moment, I'd like you to pick it up for me. Okay. Certainly. Good. It may not be there, as the house where it was stored lay on the path of the Great Fire. If so, worry not. Okay, not sure I get it, but okay. Convoy returned. Yeah, nice bottles. <laughs> what you doing? An eye for trouble. Connor! What is happening? I found this guy skulking around the inn. I pressed him, and it turns out he's looking for a deserter. Goes by the name of Big Dave. Says he's alone. Isn't that right? I am. I'm alone. I swear it. Uh-huh. Who's that guy? Another one, Connor. If he gets back to his officers, I'm done for. So we're doing this horse horsely.
you have a puddle you? Where is he? Coward kicked me in the gingham bobs <laughs> and threw sand in Dave's eyes. But he's long gone now. Not good, Connor. No. We can expect visitors soon. You guys don't know how to hold prisoners. By the way, about my holster. I, oh, I can hold two devil barreled ones. Sure. That's a lot of shot. Um, is this doing all right? Yeah, I need to send them in some more. Okay, New York. Pennsylvania. Anything easier? Yeah, you do that. They'll have to get through us, Connor. Connor. Well, we're here. Coming, David. We need to be ready. Who is coming? Redcoats. David's to be tried for treason. Executed more than likely. Connor, glad you're here. I want to show you something. What? I've collected these kegs. I might suggest building an ambush in the event we need it. They'll likely have numbers at least two to one. Okay. Uh, long range pistol, maybe? Three, three, three. Never mind. I can hear them coming. in and stand before a military tribunal on charges of I don't want any part of this war leave me be oh there's more coming there's more coming I'm sure of it get ready Hang on, I need to reload. God damn it, Dave. Why can't you let me handle it? I can hear them coming.
David Walston, turn yourself in and stand before a military tribunal on charges of treason and desertion. I don't want any part of this war. Leave me be. Pick up the box. The box. Here, have a box. Connor, I'm sorry for bringing this violence on the village. We protect our own. The British will not risk losing more soldiers for one deserter. You are free of it now. Level four blacksmith. Also reload. Also. Uh, probably do one more. Connor? Yes. You oh, have business in New York on occasion? Yes. I only ask because I ordered a package from France and it's long overdue. I've written a postmaster and he's yet to respond. I thought you could inquire in person if you had the chance. I will pass by the next time I am there. Okay, well, things in New York. What's this? This is the stupid game. Ian? No. Connor! The doctor. Might I have a word? What do you think of our little plot of land, Doctor? It's quite beautiful. I'm grateful you found me. But to be truthful, people outside our community still avoid me like the bloody plague. It baffled me for a time, but then a courier delivered this to me. What? Before you found me, the British had demanded I not treat patriots nor their supporters. I refused, so they set about destroying my business. This tells me their smear campaign is still very much in effect. If things don't change, I may be forced to leave. Why? We need you here. I will do what I can to end this defamation. You might start by finding the courier who brought this to me. He works out of Boston. Okay, I can hop over to Boston. No, Boston is the next mission, so I'll start with New York. Let's do the quick New York thing. Oh great, right here. I have come to inquire on a package arriving from France on behalf of Lance O'Donnell. Was picked up and signed for by his apprentice a couple of days back, Patrick O'Hara. Uh. Patrick O'Hara is Mr. O'Donnell's former apprentice. Would you happen to know where he is? Sure. He's been hanging around the docks the last few days. Should be around the way. Here, take these pages and hide them. Don't let that guy get his hands on them. Why? Why do you have to be this way?
Don't tell me you're stuck again. Don't run away, come on. I don't care, I'm just gonna mobilize everyone. Now that we've done that... I think the fort is a good place to start. Come on, walk! Virginia
And Pennsylvania. Hmm. Another one? Yeah, do that. It would have burned had it not been here. Achilles will be pleased. Okay. That's everything in New York. Let's stop by that shop. Loaded. To business. To business, yes. Anything I can do here? Bell pelts cost four hundred, twenty four hundred. And if I want to trade one. Oh, they're worth a lot more, it's just pelts. Franklin stove. Glass harmonica. Vulcan sword knife. Boarding axe, iron blade war club, medium saddlebags, collect consumables from Connor's horse.
And out of bottles again. Ammunition. Souls. Souls. I can't buy anything else. Wait, what? Why can't I buy anything else? Oh, there's no more to buy. What's that? You can now replenish supplies from the packs of your horses. Price of need, now represented in America by Lang and But not just any horse. mission over there, main mission over there. Okay, this is where I stop. We'll continue main mission probably tomorrow. Uh, no, tomorrow's a game that I'm not broadcasting. So, Monday. See you later. Thanks for watching. Be good. Have fun.